Hi everyone, welcome to DG Virtual Academy. We are so excited you could join us. Do not attempt any of these exercises without adult supervision. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Make sure the area you are doing gymnastics is on the grass or a panel mat. Remove any objects or people from the area to avoid hurting yourself or anyone else. Let's get started. And today, we're gonna do some drills to get our split leaps better. We're gonna work on drills for our takeoff as well as our landing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out our legs. We're gonna start with our ankles. You can cross and spin your ankle around. I'll clear a stretching, and then she'll switch ankles. And then we're gonna do a pike stand stretch. Put your hands flat on the ground. Try to go back as far as you can. You can reach your hands back even farther. Keep those knees nice and locked. And then straddle and stretch down to one side, nose to your knee. Put your hands as close to your heels as you can. And then down to the middle. And down to the other side. And then you can do this same stretch sitting as well. So go ahead and sit in a straddle. And stretch on each side, just to get our legs nice and warmed up before we begin you can do to help with the takeoff of your leap. The first one you're going to start standing. You'll want to be sure to do these on both legs. You're going to press off of your takeoff leg and then you're going to do a kick hop. Make sure your legs are horizontal. So do your step kick hop and then you're going to hold. Try to hold this position. One, two, three, plie finish. Okay. Claire's going to demonstrate that again. You're gonna step hop and try to hold one, two, three. Okay? Ideally, you wanna to try to hold your leg at horizontal, and then you'll wanna do 10 on this leg and then 10 on your bad leg. Let's see what your bad leg. Now, your leg might not be as high on your bad leg, but it's nice to be able to work both. And then you wanna be sure, let me see those arms. You can either land with your arms up here, but you want them nice and tight at your ears, or you can land with your arms here. The second one we're going to do is exactly the same thing, but you're going to start on your knee. So if you're doing good leg, your good leg, your good knee is on the ground, and you're going to press off of your leg that's, your foot that's up. And then you're going to do your horizontal kick and hop and try to hold. Plie finish, and let's see your bad leg. Again, you'll do 10 on each leg. drills deal with the landing position of your split leap. When you do compulsory leaps, you're going to land in an arabesque, and even when you get to the optional, your leap should pass through that arabesque position. So we're going to work on some of that landing position with the bent knee in the front and the arabesque. So you're going to need a chair for this, and you're going to put your back leg, you'll start with your bad leg, which would be your landing leg, on the chair. Okay. Make your arms are going to be out nice and tight or they could be on your hips and you're just going to do little dips. So you're going to bend your front leg, dip down and come back up. All this whole time you need to make sure you're squeezing your thigh here and keeping your leg nice and straight and your front foot should be turned out slightly. And you'll do 10 on your good leg and then you'll switch and do 10 on this leg, on your bad leg. Good, and you can stay right there. Our next thing, your front leg is gonna stay slightly bent in that plie position, foot turned out a little bit, and you're gonna do leg lifts with your back leg. You don't have to go too high, but your leg does need to stay straight. And the way to do that is to really squeeze that thigh muscle. So you'll do 10 on your good leg and 10 on your bad leg. And take your time. Always the slower you do them, the better. So there's no need to rush and get through with all 10 as quickly as you can. And then the last drill we'll do today involving the chair, you're going to put your back leg up there again. And this time, like those dips you did, when you dip down, instead of coming straight, you're going to do a slight jump off the ground high enough to point that toe in the air and land back down. All the while, keeping that back leg straight. And then you'll switch to your bad leg. And press off, point that toe in the air. 
and really work on squeezing the belly and keeping your posture up tall. Once you've done those drills, you can work on your actual leap. And today we're just gonna work on leaps that only take one step. So you don't really need a lot of room for this. If it's not a nice day outside, you could do it in a small area in your house. So what you wanna do is just, all you're gonna use is that front foot, the push off foot, and you're gonna hit your leap and try to hold your arabesque. Good. You could do 10 of those. Always be sure to do your bad leg as well, just so that we're working our legs evenly. And then one last drill you can do, you can be on your knee. Remember your good knee is on the ground. So you're gonna use this knee in front to push off and you're gonna hit a leap and hold that arabesque position. Good. So those are our leap drills today. Please keep working. We can't wait to see your gorgeous leaps when we get back. Thank you for watching this episode of Down River Gymnastics Virtual Academy. We hope you had a ton of fun and maybe learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the fun. Thanks again.